Hi, uh, good afternoon to all the students. Uh, how are you today? Are you fine? Uh, yeah, I can see many of you have already uh, arrived. So uh, it's already 104, so I think we will start very soon. I can see Chie is already in. So hello, uh, good afternoon, Chie. Also, uh, good afternoon, Chie. Hi. 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 And also, uh, Han Dong, uh, Xinxian, Zuimin, Gaxing, Meilin, Wen Liang, Xie Wen, Yan Chang, and also Yi Han. So there are about 10 of you already joined in. Uh, so for today, uh, basically, we will be doing the tutorial. As you can see, we already almost done until the page uh, tutorial number four. Uh, for tutorial number five, it's about most, mostly about the RAM. So uh, we are almost done this one, uh, mostly during the classroom and also the previous tutorials. But for these tutorials, I want you to focus on uh, doing using the pseudo codes. So this is basically the pseudo codes. That is actually uh, you need to use some uh, this. Sorry, this is the equation that you use. Uh, need to use some pseudo code. So the push, push, load, multiply. All these are the pseudo codes. How to spell the pseudo codes? Uh, pseudo code is like this. Okay, it's not the real. It's not really uh, the real instructions. Are uh, not like the Intel instructions, but. Uh, it's just some uh, symbols to represent the, how the uh, formulas can be achieved by running some of the these uh, instructions. So these things are very important. So make sure you know how to do the zero, zero, one, two, and three address machines uh, by writing the program's compute x equals to these numbers. So I already discussed to, uh, with you. Uh, during the last uh, lectures and tutorials as well. So I think today I will uh, a little bit, I will discuss a little bit again. Uh, let me open the whiteboard. Yeah, I'll be, okay, so this is uh, a whiteboard. By the way, uh, I've seen uh, more have already joined us. Uh, maybe uh, some already joined us like EC, uh, Sherwin, uh, Wei Hong already come here. And Xiang, uh, everyone come here already. We have a uh, 13 now. So uh, by the way, uh, have you read my, uh, we have a WhatsApp group, right? Have you read the website that I already sent to you on how to do the testing on the Intel x 0 x 6 assembly language? Anyone already uh, done? I think some of you have already done, right? Yeah. Anyone already uh, testing? Any anyone? Oh, let me. Yes, Han Xiang already tested. How is the uh, even set? Okay, very good. Uh, let's give your applause to Han Xiang. You try it out uh, during your free time. Uh, that's that's a reason why you cannot directly run it using Windows because Windows uh, try to block you to run all those primitive instructions. Yeah. They try to block you so that uh, this is actually the 16 bit assembly language. Previously, uh, during the previous uh, version of the Windows, or uh, maybe during the DOS time, we can do it. But when they come to this uh, Windows, uh, higher version of Windows, they block all those uh, instructions. They want us to use a 32 bit assembly language. And then this 32 bit assembly language, what's the meaning of 32 bit assembly language? You directly do the Windows. Uh, Windows means you directly call Windows kernel. Okay, they have the kernel. Windows create a lot of kernel. So we call the window kernel. We cannot access to the machine directly. So that's why um, 32 bit assembly language, uh, only 32 bit assembly language are allowed to run. Uh, even though, uh, let me show you an example. If let's say I have created the EXE uh, and then I try to run it over here, I will not be able to run it. But some part this one is complete already. But when I run using the current Windows, I cannot run it because it is a 16 bit uh, assembly language. But when you use the DOS, uh, DOS box, uh, virtual DOS box, like what I already uh, shown to you, 
then you can actually run it. And then uh, once you just, just need to mount something on your dust box. Yeah. So in this way, you can actually uh, do very, uh, you can test your program. Yeah. That's the reason why we need this dust box. You just have to mount a mount something like uh, this C and then S. So you just uh, you just go to the C directory. Uh, C. Okay. So now to see oh yeah I, I go I have to tap the C first. I mount it, uh. So I go to the C double dot yeah. So only I can uh, run this one. Yeah. Then I can add a number. Let's say three and six. Then I will get a nine. So this is how I be it. Uh. Okay. So you can actually use the DOS box to test it. But if uh, you want to, you are interested to do the D2B assembly language is fine. Uh, mostly you have to call the Windows kernel. Yeah. So it directly show you the, the Windows already. They don't have uh, all those uh, command lines. Okay, but don't worry, uh, we are, because we want to learn uh, computer architecture, so we must be able to access to the original instruction. We cannot access to Windows kernel, right? That one is for the operating system cost, not for the computer architecture, yeah? Okay, uh, very good, since you have already uh, done this and keep up the good work, so let's try to uh, test this up. So for, um, so this, this is actually what happens, uh, so if you're interested, then uh, maybe next a few class, uh, maybe I can show you the layout design of uh, some of the computer like mix computers. Uh, there are some layout. So basically what I, uh, I will show you is actually we are going to use the electric software. This electric software will actually uh, show you the chip design for those who are interested, but you will only learn microelectronics uh, maybe in year four, but it's good to know what are all those animals and PMOs already. Uh, but let's not go too far away because everyone is already here. Let us uh, go to do this uh, example. Uh, for today, I want you to actually try out all, all the four addresses using the new instructions. So let me uh, show you what happened to this instruction for the zero address. Zero address is about the stack. Uh, so this is actually the zero address. We are basically dealing about the stack, uh, the stack, how it is operated. Okay, why I have this? Okay, good. So uh, we are dealing about when we talk about zero address. We are dealing about uh, dealing with the. We are dealing with the stack. Uh, what is the stack? A stack is basically something that you put in, uh, first in, last out, or last in, first out, uh, storage. So first in, last out, first in, last out. You put in first, then the last you can only uh, get it. So what are we going to do when we want to program some of the formulas? Uh, this is what we are going to do. So first we do push air. Uh, we follow one by one, uh, push air. So there will be an A over here. Okay. So this is the push A. Then the second push B. You put in another B. Then at that, you will have a B. Now, when you do push C, you get another C. Now, what you do when you do the multiplication? When you do the multiplication, this is what will happen. You will take the, these two and multiply together. And then it become another uh, data over here. So you will get B multiply C over here. So you have a question, you can uh, turn on your mic anytime and ask me the question. Yeah. So this is actually uh, what is meaning uh, meant by this. Uh, after that, you have the add. So what is happening is they do these two add, and then they come to this. Uh -huh. What they do? They will have the, this one will become A plus B multiply C, okay? So A plus B multiply C is over here. Uh, so if you cannot see clearly, this is A plus B multiply C, okay? So now next, what you do, you push a D inside. 
push the D inside. Then after that, you push the E. Okay. So, uh, okay, E over here. And then last one, you push the F. Yeah, there is uh, three of them. So after that, you do the multiplication. Uh, what you do when you have the multiplication, so you will have uh, done on the multiplication of these two. So get this A plus B multiply C. Okay, here we the D uh, remain intact. So this one will be E multiply F. Okay, and then we continue the sub. When we sub, we sub the previous one to the current one. Uh. So this is the sequence. Uh. So this is A plus B multiply C. And then the last one will be D. D, D, they say sub, right? Minus E multiply F. Okay, so uh, then after that, we have divide and pop. Uh. Let me make it bigger because I cannot draw already. Okay, now, when we have this, so when we have the divide, so what will happen? So we only left one, right? Two become one. Uh. So we only have uh, one. So this one will be A plus B multiply C divided by B minus E multiply F. So only one, one of them. Then what you do now, you pop, pop this, and then you go to the memory. Inside the memory, uh, this is memory, let's say. Inside memory, there is an address of the X, right? So just put all the result here inside this one. Uh, all, all these are, these are X, uh, the whole thing inside. So this is about zero address. Uh. So without further ado, um, I want you to try out this one, zero address using a jam ball. So I will give you, uh, I think, uh, zero jam ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I think we use the jam ball so that everyone can do together. If I use a Google Classroom assignment, so you, everyone have to do uh, better, we use the whiteboard first. Uh, when I confident everyone can do that, only we, we, we will use the uh, uh, assignment so everyone can do one. Uh, once, uh. So I'm creating a jam. So I want you to try out and write your answer. Yeah, so you can actually access to the Jamboard now. Yeah, this is the Jamboard. Uh, please write your answer for the zero address until the, if you get this for uh, three address, uh, yeah. Uh, for the this equation, yeah. Let me copy this equation. Uh. Uh, because a student tell me it's a Windows Shift S. So I just copy this. Yeah. So we will do all the zero to four. You can choose uh, anyone want to do uh, zero until four. Uh, I think the other you can do yourself. Uh, Let's see if I spend too much time, you don't have time to do yet. So now, let's try to do your example uh, here. Yeah. yeah, let's try zero. Ah, this one, redo this one. So first one, I want you to do zero address. Zero. I will test you uh, on this. Uh, so please, uh, please do properly, yeah. yeah. This is a very important topic. Zero address, and then we have the one address. Yeah. And then the next page, and we have the two address. And then we have the three address. Yeah, uh, you can choose anyone you want to do. Uh. So maybe you divide work among yourself. Uh. Who wants to do which one? Just complete it. Yeah, starting from zero address. So uh, the answer already given to you, right? 
Have I given this answer to you? May I know? Is this answer already inside the theory got or not? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good. So you can uh, do that. Huh? So I just show the gem bot so you can. Uh, very good. Thanks for answering. Uh, now we have a, a 14. Huh? So. Where's my gem? Yeah, you can write over here. Yeah. This one means uh, A multiplied B, then only plus C divided by B, only plus E. Uh. But this one is, we have the precedence one, uh, which one is having a priority? Uh. This one, you do this one first. Only you do this one, then only you do the plus. Uh. That's the priority for our max, right? Follow, follow that. Uh. Yeah. Which one you want to do first? Pop. Uh, yeah. If you, if you uh, want to refer, I give you a little bit space to refer. So this will be the, uh, yeah. If you are interested, do second, uh, we do one by one, uh, load, yeah. Good, who is this? We've got a picture over here. Chie, right? Chie is doing one address, huh? okay, very good. Yeah. So now I have to compare the picture, is it Chie or? Uh, no. yeah, 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 I'm Chie, sir. Oh, Chie, okay, okay, good. So you do the one address, eh? yeah, okay, very good. And then another one can do the two address, another one can do the three address. So today we, we will focus on this, yeah. Anyone cannot join my Google Jam? I share again. Eh? So this is the address. Hansiang is trying to do three address, right? Okay, good. But you can tap like if you want. You want to tap 
Okay, you got the text box over here. You can just tap this blue one. Uh, so let me see the first one. Have it started? Push B, push A, push B. Multiply. Okay, and push C plus. Still okay? Hey. Cannot, cannot. This one, you have to do the C and D first. Yeah, unless you have a T, is the question having a T? Uh, you can use the temporary, but usually we don't want uh, if you don't have the need, uh, we don't use the temporary storage. Let's say if you need, you can put in, uh, or you directly push to X first, uh, also can. Uh. If you don't want to put to T, you put to S first. Uh, let's say you. Uh, what we do uh, for the, this one, uh, usually, we follow the sequence how uh, C D first. We push the C D, then we divide. Then only you push E and then add. Ah, uh, yeah, the bottom right. Then only you get the A and B. Then you plus together. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Let's see the others. Note E. At, at A. At D. Okay. Uh, you have to follow a sequence of C and D. Eh? You see, uh, this one C, D together. This one must be done first. This one must be done first. Only we add these three together. Uh, meaning, log E at D. Cannot, uh, cannot add D directly. Uh. Yeah, you have to do this one first only at D. Meaning they have the priority of which one to do first. A plus uh, E M multiply B. Uh, you have to do first. Uh, priority to do this oh, yeah, two. Yeah. So, sorry, yeah. I forget so, yeah. to divide first. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah. Oh, uh, never mind, it's okay, yeah. Yes, okay, very good. Let me go back to one. Uh. Push C, push D. Then you can divide, uh, just divide. Divide, then it becomes C. Yeah, you're right. Very good, so divide. But once you're already familiar, you do not need to draw the step graph. Uh. Yeah, that one just for just for uh, training only. Yeah. And after that, you push the E and then add. Uh, push E, then only add. Yeah. Push E inside. Uh, yeah. Only you add this thing. Anyone doing two address and one address, uh, three address? Hansiang doing three address. Yeah. Two address, not oh, yet. Yeah. Look, B, multiply K, stop key, okay. Look, B. Yeah, this one not look B, uh, this one look what? Look C, right? Or look D, uh, look, look C, uh, divide B. Uh. Um, so can I do the A and B first? I mean, look A, then multiply B. Eh? Uh, look A oh, and multiply B also can? 
Uh, you can do any sequence, but as long as you get the answer at the end. Uh. Okay, okay. Look, uh, look B, multiply A is correct already. Store T, correct? Then now you have to load this part already. C and D. Yeah, yeah. Load C, oh. divide B, uh, yeah. etc. Yeah. Mm. Okay, good. Okay, this one uh, nearly done here, nearly done already. Push E. Push E at. Okay. Push E at. Push A, B. Multiply. Yeah, correct. Push A, 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 B. Multiply. Then what you do? Can I read E at? Uh? Need to push C some more. See already there. See already here. Done already. Is this direct? Uh, sorry, add is enough. Uh. You do not need a C, a C already inside your equation here. It's just the uh, add already, then you can add. Uh. This one, no need put. Uh, yeah. Add. And then after they pop, pop uh, At the end, at the end, what you need to do? We can pop back to x, right? Sorry, this uh, this is actually x equals to a uh, multiply b. Yeah. You have to pop back to x. Uh. So say pop x, yeah, pop to x. P O P pop. Yeah, like this. Sorry, this one is x. I never put this. Okay, very good. Let's give a big round of applause to uh, Chi. Very good. Okay, they have done it correctly. So you can actually copy the answer later. So let me check. Uh, this one who did? Who is doing? Uh? This one Hong Dong, right? Should be also Chie. I cannot see the symbol here. Is it Hong Dong? Okay, never mind, we will check the word here. So, uh, load B, multiply A, okay, store T first. Then load C, divide D, add T, okay, good. Add E, okay, good. Store X, good. Okay, correct, very good. Yeah, very good. And give a star for here. Uh, previously also got a star like that. Okay, very good. Yeah, let's see what that are to both of you. Okay, very good. So this is also correct. Uh, for the one address, usually you a little bit shorter. Sometimes it's the same same length. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So very good. So next one. Let's do the three two address. Uh, let's see whether two address makes sense or not. Uh. This is actually a destination. This is a source. So move A into R naught. Okay. A into R naught. Multiply R naught with B. Good. Move R1, B. Divide R1, C. Okay, good. Add R naught, R1. Okay. Can good. Add R naught, E. And then move R naught into X. Okay, very good. Let's give a big R across. Man, who did? This, uh, who did this? Two address. Uh, anyone? Uh, Who's the one? I do. Oh, Hong Dong do. Okay, very good. I'll just get there. Very good. So, second one, who did this? Uh? Second one, who did the second one? I think she. 
This one? Yeah, Chi Ye. Oh, Chi Ye did too. The, how about the first one? Who did this? Uh, the, first, the first one is uh, Tan Xun Sen. Tan Xun Sen, okay. Xun Sen also are very good. Uh, let's give a big round of applause to Xun Sen. Uh. Okay, thank you. So, yeah. Xun Sen is, uh, oh, Xun Sen. Uh. Xun Sen, uh. Xun Sen, okay. Very good. So now, let's see the last one. Oh, you see that uh, three address is very, very fast. Uh. We need three, uh, four instructions. If the move R0 and B, sorry, multiply AB into R0, and then divide CD into R1, add R1, R0, if the R into the R0, okay, correct. Add the, add the X R0, okay, X R0, E, R0, E, okay, should be correct, right? It's the uh, same, same like. This one, uh. yeah. Okay, yeah. Very good. Let's give a big star to him. So who who uh, did this? Okay, may I know who did this question? Yeah, who did this question? Me or oh, Hansia? Hansia also ah. Uh. Two also Hansia. Okay, very good. Let's give a big applause to Hansia. Thank you. So you have done this uh, correctly. Any question you want to ah, she should say me. Uh, yeah, okay, very good. Ah, uh, Dong, Han, ah, uh, Shinsen, Han Xiang, and also Chi Ye, right? Okay. Now, uh, any question you want to ask about this uh, four machines using pseudocode? So you must know the logic uh, to do using different uh, different address. So this is how it can be done. But of course, uh, if you design only for one address, a uh, zero address, uh, the computer will be very fast and also very uh, straightforward. Uh. Yeah, it can be faster than the three address. It can be slower or it can be faster. It depends uh, how you use it. Uh. Yeah. If no question, then uh, have we discussed this? Uh, no yet, right? Okay, so this is uh, assume a stack oriented processor, this is a zero address, includes the stack operation push and pop. Arithmetic operation automatically involves top one uh, or two stack elements. Begin with an empty stack. What stack element remain after the following instruction are executed? I believe you all, you all can do this, uh, right? So this will be the uh, stack elements. Uh, let's say push four, you get four. Push seven, you get seven and four. Now push it, you get eight, seven, four. Add, then you add the the, uh, the recently added one, fifteen. Then uh, you do the rest. Of, so this will be the uh, yeah. This will be the question and the answers. Any question you want to ask about this? If not, you can use some time to copy the answer from here. Yeah, any uh, question you can let me know. Uh, you can turn on your mic and ask me any question you want to ask. Okay, yeah. so no question then I, I I can give you another exercise. Uh let's oh you want to ask any question? Use this time to ask any question that you don't know inside your class. No, then I will give you uh another exercise. Yeah? Uh, let's give an another exercise. If you have, don't have question, uh, then we just uh, do another exercise. This one is uh, y equals to a uh, a multiply b divided divided c minus d. Okay, let's do this for 
uh, one and two address. So here, let's do it for one address. This is because this one is very important. One address and zero address. Uh, I think I put together. It is exercise uh, one and zero address. Anyone also can do. As practice this using uh, 10 weeks. Uh, then the right answer over here. Yeah, let's uh, do over here. Uh, zero address and so one address. Spend like 10 minutes. This one is blue color. Who is having the blue color? Shinsen, ah? Shinsen. okay, good. And then Jet, Dreaming, ah, Dreaming can do, yeah. Try to do this. Uh, then this, yeah. I think in order to create more 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 opportunity for others to do uh, so uh, let's do the one uh, two and three also uh, uh, we will do here uh, two and three two address and three address So that once when you have practiced two times, then you are very sure already. Yeah, you can actually start. Uh, give you another five, uh, three to five minutes, then after that we can discuss. Uh, then it should be quite fast already.
case you are a director or finish it. So here. Push B. Push C. Divide. Okay, correct. Push A. Multiply. Okay, correct. Push D. Oh, still have one. Push D. Yes, sir. Now, one more. Huh? One more thing you need to do. You have to pop back, right? If not, then you won't saw in the memory. Yeah. Pop X, pop wire, wire. This one is wire. Yeah. You mean this one is wire? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Right. Pass to uh, your friend. Uh, get a star. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. You mean DE correctly? Uh, how about uh, this one? Uh, Shishan. Note B. Multiply A. Store T. Okay, the A stock. Uh, no, this stock also can now you can directly divide, can directly divide, also cannot divide. Okay, eh? oh, store T A multiply divide C can. You don't need to store uh, because you just direct divide C, then subtract T should be fine. Uh. If you want to save the number of instruction. Because it's already in the accumulator. This one is accumulator. Already inside the accumulator. So just put all the value inside. Accumulator over here. If I see correct, load D. Uh, I think no, no need to load also. Uh, directly minus D, oh, then it's fine, right? Sub D. Uh, sub D then should be fine already. No need load also. Okay. No need, right? No need look, uh, then you, oh, you need a divide. Divide C, subtract D. Then they really pop back. Right? This one, store, uh, store back to T, uh, the last one. Store back to T, then should be fine. Let's subtract D already, right? store, store, store to Y. Uh. Yeah. This is store Y. Uh, not pop up, uh, store uh, in the one address. Store to Y. Yes, we use the store command. Uh, there are specific one, uh, load store, load store. Uh, only zero, we use push pop, step. Accumulator, we use the store and uh, load. Okay, very good. Let's give a big round of applause to your friend. Uh, Shinshin, right? Yeah, okay, very good. Okay, we still have about 10 minutes. Let's finish. Uh, oh, finish your idea. May I know who did this? Uh? A, B. Move. Are not A. Okay. Multiply are not B. Correct. Divide are not C. Correct. Subtract are not D. Correct. Move Y are not into Y. Okay, very good. I see a clear up here. Okay, good. The three address are oh, wow, very short. Huh? Multiply are not A, multiply uh, A, B. Divide are not, are not with C. Okay, subtract Y are not, subtract. Okay, very good. I see a clear up to your friend. Okay, very good.
Uh, may I know who did this, uh, this question? Anyone? Who, who done? Yeah, let me see. Uh, any answer? Me. Uh. Okay, me too. Can I understand? Uh? Okay, now I think uh, we almost finish our tutorial. Then uh, I think you can do uh, just that. Maybe this one addressing, maybe uh, if we have time, we can discuss about it again. Yes. What's the question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Clap for Hing Dong. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, clap for Hing Dong. Okay, very good. So you all can do it. Uh, okay, very good. So I think this addressing also quite straightforward. After you have learned all this, uh, then you know why it's addressing why? Uh, because you have the. Uh, when we do the programming, uh, we have to move at address, uh, then you will know that uh, all the displacement are uh, uh, direct, direct, immediate. Let's say immediate is uh, a number. Uh, move at H22 is immediate. Your H is registered. Yeah. So if you direct, then you have to go to the memory there at address, right? Yeah. Then if you use another displacement, then at address, adding with the uh, message one. Then we will have will be the displacement. Uh, after you have learned your assembly language, then you know that what are those things means that uh, your opcode, right? Add, uh, and then you have some uh, address here. Yeah. So this is how you do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you learn a lot of assembly language, then you know that uh, how computer operate. Uh, yeah. So any more question you want to ask me before we end the class? Because I think it's around the time. Yeah. We have already done this. Any question you want to ask me? Uh, let uh, me ask. Uh, so, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Tia here. Uh, just for asking, like, uh, okay. this kind of question, like, just now what we did uh, for the coding, mm, yeah. actually, we just need to write the code or the stack also need to draw out. Uh, you only need to write the code unless the question asks you to. Uh, show the diagram also. Oh, Let's okay. say if the question is like the last question, then you have to put the diagram also. Yeah, if let's say they ask you to draw up. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. If let's say they just ask you to uh, write a program, then you just write a program, no need to show up. But of course, oh. if you want to show it's fine for your own good. Uh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank for your own so understanding. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. Uh, any more question? Uh, Chia already asked a question. Uh, how about Hansian? Any question? Uh, Chong Yi, any question? No, for now. Hang Dong? No, okay, good. So, Xinxian, Jimin, uh, Kaxing, uh, Leong Ho, Meilin, Wei Hong, Wen Liang, uh, Xie Wen, uh, Yan Qiang, Yi Hang, and Yi Si. Any question? If no question, then you may leave now. Thank you very much. And I uh, hope you enjoy your next, next class also. Okay, thank you. So all the best and stay safe. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you.